Hey guys, Tech Dimension with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix this issue where you get unable to verify update when you're looking to update your phone. Now, this just happened to us on trying to update to iOS 16.2. As you can see, verification has failed because you're no longer connected to the internet. It's going to say try again or remind me later. You might be wondering why you're getting this although you might be connected to the internet. Well, there's multiple other reasons that could be impacting your phone not being able to verify the update. And we're going to walk you through all of the troubleshooting steps. And hopefully by the end of the video, you can update your phone. So let's dive into it. First thing is first, whenever you're looking to update your phone, a couple things to remember. First thing is making sure your phone is actually charged above 50% or more. Generally, it's a good practice to have it above. So you can see if you pull down the top menu, you'll see the percentage here. If it's not, it's even better if you put it, plug it into a charger because during the update, it takes a lot of battery power. So you want to be able to make sure your phone doesn't die in the process. So that air might show up. The other thing to remember again here is usually you want to make sure you have a good, strong Wi-Fi connection. Although you can do it through cellular, we find cellular sometimes isn't the great because there's sometimes a couple gigs worth of update that's being downloaded. So I like to be connected to a good Wi-Fi here. And you can see here, connected to a good Wi-Fi. You can also look at from the top here, the wi is connected, which is a good indicator. Lastly, the other thing you want to check before even attempting to update your phone is making sure that your phone has enough space. So to do that, you go into settings, general. Now you have the option to check the space here by going to iPhone storage. And generally you'll see here, I have used up 13 gig out of 128 gig on this phone. If you're maxing out on this, let's say I was close to maybe 128 gig out of 128 gig, the update may not d be able to verify. So I want to delete things. So if you have like videos, photos, some apps to clear up some space so that you can actually download the update because most updates require, you know, some sort of space that's available on your phone. So those are a couple things to remember even at, before going into the troubleshooting. Now, let's say you have the space, you have a good Wi-Fi connection, your phone is charged. Now, what else could be the issue? Well, the first thing, it could be as simple as just closing out the settings app. Just like that, you're going to push it up. So if you have the settings app open, we'll pull the menu from the top or double click if you have an iPhone 8 or something like that. You're going to push it up just like that, and then it will close out. And then go ahead and try to check for update by going into settings, general, and then look for the software update here. And you might see the update come up again. The other thing, too, you can always do is by clicking on automatic update, you can try to turn this off on where it looks for automatic update as well. Again, it helps as well. So we're going to do that. So the next thing you're going to do if you're still having issues with that, unable to verify it, go ahead and turn on airplane mode for a moment and turn it back on. What this does is, as you can see here, it refreshes the network of your phone. Just a quick refresh, things like Wi-Fi connection and your uh, basically connection to your other connectivity, as well as go ahead and turn off the Wi-Fi for a moment and turn it back on. And this is just to verify that your Wi-Fi, if you're using Wi-Fi to connect, that it's a strong, good connection for your phone as well. So those are a couple quick things to do. Now, after that, if you're still getting the issue, it's time to do a force restart of the phone. For force restart, will not delete any of your data. It's simply going to reload the phone with a nice, clean reboot, reloading the code. Any software minor issue that you have most likely will be resolved by this. To do that, you're going to press and release the volume up here and then press and release the volume down and then hold the side button until the screen goes completely black and we see the Apple logo reappear. So this is how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down, and then hold the side button. And you should see a menu like this. We're not going to slide to power off because that will be a normal shutdown. We're going to keep on holding that side button just like I'm holding it here till the screen goes completely black. And then we're going to wait till we see the Apple logo reappear and then we let go of that button and it should reboot normally. Now, for some reason, if you are trying to do that and Siri activates, that means you didn't press the volume up and down quick enough. So make sure you press the volume up and then volume down right after one other pretty quick and then hold that big side button. And after you do that, it should give your phone a nice reboot and reload the existing code and give it a clean slate restart. So you want to do that now. After you have done that, the next thing you want to do is go into settings here. If you're still having an issue, you're going to go ahead, check general, and then we're going to be back in iPhone storage. And this time, you want to look at here for some things. So usually when you're doing an update, if an update has failed, you might see the update itself appear here where it's going to say iOS update. Not this one, but it will come up as a list. And what you can do is you can click on that and then you should be able to delete that update with the delete option. Unfortunately, we don't have that because 
our update was successful but basically you look for something called iOS update and it will be listed here and all you'll do is just like when I click on anything I'm going to go ahead and click on that delete option to delete the previous update because it could be interfering with the new update that it's trying to do now after you have done that and if you're still having the issue the next thing to do in this process is if you have BPN settings on so if you go to settings general and then we're going to look for BPN here if you have a BPN connected here we unfortunately don't but you might want to turn VPN off here so here you'll be able to click on it and either delete it or turn it off but of course make sure that that's okay before you do it because sometimes BPN could be blocking your update as well from the phone being able to update now after that if you're still having issues or if you don't have a BPN the next thing to do on this is doing a network reset of your phone. To do that, we're going to be in settings again. We're going to go to general and scroll all the way down. And you'll see the option here for transfer or reset iPhone. We'll click on that and then we'll click on the first option here for reset. Once you click on it, you'll get a menu like this. Now, before we do anything, remember we're going to be doing a network reset. But before you do that, let's kind of understand what a network reset does. Well, a network reset does is deletes things like Wi-Fi password, any connectivity settings that you have saved before, basically anything around the network connectivity of the phone. It will not delete your photos, videos, apps, or media, or anything like that. Just simply all of the default settings for Wi-Fi and any other connectivity settings that you had. Again, it's a good thing to do, especially if the phone is unable to update because it's saying there's no internet connection and you might seem like you're having internet connection. So that's the next option you do. If you do that, it generally takes like a few minutes for it to do less than a few minutes it's a quick update itself but we won't do it just for the sake of time here now if you're still having the issue the next thing you want to check on your phone again we're going to be back here the main page of settings this time we're going to go to general and then we're going to look for this date and time so if you click on date and time now the important thing to note about date and time it's really important when it comes to iPhone looking for update because you want to make sure that time that you have actually matches the actual time of the time zone that you're in for example sometimes it might be set automatically which is good and if it's working that's great but let's say it didn't set up correctly and you have a time that's mismatching your local time you can turn automatic off and you can select it and change it yourself manually you just have to make sure it's accurate to the location that you're in and finally if none of those steps work for you the only other way to update it if you can't update it through the Wi-Fi is giving you a go with your iTunes on your computer or MacBook or if you have a newer MacBook you can use Finder. Once you connect it, download iTunes which is a free application to download on your MacBook or your PC and you should be able to just connect it and follow along. Once you connect it you'll know it will say do you want to update and you can update it just like that. So that's it for the video. Hopefully going through all these troubleshooting steps you're able to resolve the issue and get your phone to update. Again if you're going to be updating remember you go into settings general and the software update it will hopefully reappear and it is able to verify it. So if any of these tips help you guys really appreciate you hitting that like and subscribe button and also let us do let us know which of the troubleshooting step help you resolve the issue thanks for watching guys see you guys next time